I think, I think we'll be able to have it do something useful in our factories sometime next year. Much like children who progressively mature through continuous learning and knowledge acquisition, Tesla Optimus, initially perceived as a jest, has recently showcased remarkable strides in its capacity to acquire knowledge and execute tasks with a human-like finesse. These advancements underscore the progress of Tesla's latest FSD V12 system and substantiate Elon Musk's vision of integrating robots into practical applications. How will Tesla Optimus demonstrate its capabilities in the future? Join us to find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel, where we talk about everything about Tesla. Before we start, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already, and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our exciting videos in the future. Now, let's get into it. What impressive improvements has Tesla Optimus made? The latest mission that Tesla Optimus performed truly stunned us with its outstanding capabilities after nearly two years of research and development. Optimus was able to classify the colors of Lego blocks after a learning process with the AI vision system that Tesla equipped. Dear audience, please focus on the way Optimus focuses when handling his tasks, the researchers are messing with the bot by moving blocks around while it is trying to grab them and manipulating the blocks already arranged so that they are in the correct position. You can certainly program a more conventional robot to do those things but not to adapt in the way we're seeing here. This makes it look like a real hard worker. The original demo was clumsy, unable to even stand on its own, now performing yoga poses and manipulating objects is better than ever. This is a testament to the close combination of Tesla Vision's observational learning and enhanced motion assimilation. Tesla has actually solved two basic problems for humanoid robots to actually work, Optimus' flexible soft touch hands attract attention to each gesture when working, and Tesla is forming so the AI vision brain allows Tesla bot to clearly understand everything around it. In a small comparison with Boston Dynamics, you can see some robots dancing in sync with a pre-programmed song for every movement. However, Optimus is completely different, it can learn and handle tasks that are not based on pre-programming with inch-to-inch -inch accuracy. Like the latest versions of full self-driving, Tesla also notes that Optimus is now being trained with neural nets end-to-end. -end. This is great for the future of global industry. We don't know if any of you have ever worked in a factory with an assembly line, but working at a stamping plant in Detroit involves performing the type of repetitive work that many assembly line workers do. The pass still works. This is a very, very big problem and Optimus can help you with this. Tesla will be able to get a worker in their factory who doesn't get tired, sick, or need to go to the bathroom at a very affordable price that can only work non-stop, the only time it needs to stop is to charge. You should read the book for us, The Living by Robert A. Heinlein. One of the first books he wrote and his last to be published. At nearly 90 years old, he has very accurate understanding of society. In that world, people work not because they have to work, but because they want to work. The products with the highest value are those made by human hands, not necessarily because they are better but because they are unique. Therefore, completely replacing human labor is impossible. How does Tesla Optimus demonstrate superior capabilities compared to other machines? With a full self-driving computer, essentially the inference engine on the car which will keep evolving obviously, and Dojo, and all the neural nets recognizing the world, understanding how to navigate through the world. TeslaBot uses AI technology to automatically learn and perform difficult tasks. It kind of makes sense to put that onto a humanoid form. Like Tesla's V12 FSD software, using the Dojo network. Tesla's FSD V12 is a significant advancement in autonomous driving, utilizing neural networks and various models to improve planning, control, and perception, potentially leading to highly functional and reliable autonomous driving in the future. Optimus's AI vision uses a combination of video and image inputs, along with human reinforcement learning, to train the model and improve its accuracy in reproducing human work behavior, while incorporating comprehensive space radar configuration to enhance control planning training and fill gaps in Optimus's knowledge. The diverse training data can be obtained by letting the Tesla Optimus watch videos and unlimited learning. While the new demo shows incredible dexterity to touch and the ability to manipulate objects that require more training, Combined with the fact that Tesla possesses a huge amount of visual language data through X, accelerated learning and training will become faster. 
Meanwhile, Boston Dynamics robot has the ability to move and move its body more quickly and decisively. However, not being equipped with an automatic system turns it into an inanimate object that requires someone's control. Its use in the production line is the most difficult thing to consider. What are some of the challenges that Tesla Optimus faces? During AI Day 2022, Elon Musk mentioned that Optimus deliveries will be possible within the next three to five years. With production costs estimated by Elon Musk to be less than $20,000. To date, a small number of Optimus bots have been completed in production, mainly due to Tesla having problems supplying actuators, which very few individual manufacturers are able to make. Tesla realized that there were no off-the-shelf drives that worked well for the Optimus. Ultimately, Tesla had to make some changes to meet the above challenges and complete the goals that Elon Musk promised. The electric vehicle manufacturer is actually hiring a lot of positions for its Optimus program. Open positions for Tesla's Optimus team span a variety of fields, with the company recruiting software engineers, mechatronics engineers, robotics CAE engineers, embedded software engineers, robot operators, and general control engineers, along with a number of other positions. The open positions suggest that Tesla is getting up to speed with the Optimus program and that the company is preparing to grow its humanoid robotics team. Musk said Tesla's advantage is that its bot will be powered by AI, which was developed primarily for FSD technology. Before Optimus was widely used by people, Tesla would use it in production lines to save costs up to billions of dollars in production when Optimus could actually do some actual work at the factory. Factories displace thousands of workers. Why is Tesla bot part of Elon Musk's plan? Elon Musk introduced the Tesla bot as part of his broader vision for artificial intelligence and robotics. This humanoid robot is designed to automate various tasks, from household chores to manual labor, aiming to increase efficiency and reduce human involvement in repetitive or hazardous work. Musk's interest in AI development is also a driving force behind this project, as he seeks to advance technology and create a platform for AI research. While the Tesla bot may not directly align with Tesla's mission in electric vehicles and sustainable energy, it reflects Musk's long-term vision for a future where advanced robotics and AI play significant roles in our lives. Considering recent demonstrations of humanoid robots' capabilities, perhaps a robot release in 2027 might not be too far-fetched. While Tesla's Optimus program is still in its early days, one can immediately see that the progress of the humanoid robot has been nothing short of amazing in just a few years. Tesla initially announced Optimus during AI Day 2021. At the time, Tesla only had a man in an Optimus suit, a static model of the robot, and a CGI trailer. By AI Day 2022, Tesla had two working Optimus prototypes, one made with off-the-shelf parts that were capable of walking on its own, and one with custom-made actuators that could not stand yet. So until the Tesla Optimus is widely released, are you willing to own one to serve your family? Let us know what you're thinking in the comments section down below. While the trillion dollar club of Google, Microsoft, and Meta plan to be the first users of Nvidia's supercomputer, Tesla decided to build its own. The electric vehicle manufacturer announced an ambitious project to build a powerful computer to store and manage the petabytes of real-time data generated by millions of Teslas worldwide as its car sales continue to rise. On July 19th, CEO Elon Musk told investors that the company will commit as and starting work on a supercomputer with powerful machine learning features. The Dojo supercomputer, to be completed by the end of 2024 with over a $1 billion investment, will make use of massive amounts of video and sensor data generated by Tesla's Autopilot and Full Self-Driving or FSD software currently sold for 15 grand as well as his Optimus humanoid robots under development to perform useful everyday tasks. And what are your thoughts on Dojo's ability for a new era of safe and efficient transportation? And frankly, I don't know, if they could deliver us enough GPUs, we, we, we might not need your Dojo, but they can't. <laughs> they got, got so many customers. With respect to Autopilot and Dojo, in order to build autonomy, we also need to train our neural net with uh, data from uh, millions of vehicles. Musk said he wasn't even sure his latest project would prove itself superior to buying NVIDIA chips off the shelf because he typically demands the best from his team. In a surprising turn of events, Elon revealed in June 2023 that his dojo has been up and running, efficiently performing valuable tasks within Tesla's data centers for several months. 
This announcement officially puts to rest any lingering doubts about Dojo's operational status and its readiness for practical applications. So, what is Dojo? Elon Musk's remarkable project, Dojo, an AI supercomputer, gets over a billion dollars to make it happen. Its goal? To help Tesla's self-driving and advanced AI dreams. Because there's a shortage of important parts like those fancy NVIDIA A100 GPU thingies, Musk pictures a future where Tesla cars are super smart using cameras to drive on their own. They'll teach this AI using loads of real driving info, a unique move by Tesla. Dojo's potential is outstanding. Tesla AI predicts it'll ascend from a testing phase to one of the world's top five supercomputers, boasting over 30 exaflops of computing power by February of next year. This exponential growth aims to culminate in a staggering 100 exaflops of computing power by October next year. To put this in perspective, it's like having 300,000 NVIDIA A100 GPUs, a pivotal component in AI innovation. Musk's unwavering commitment to pushing boundaries is driving this extraordinary initiative aligning with his aspiration for full autonomy. How much does Tesla's dojo cost? Well, we're not going to be open loop on our dojo expenditure. So, but I mean, I think we, we will be spending, you know, certainly north of a billion over the next year on, on you know, through, through the end of next year, it's well over a billion dollars in dojo. During Tesla's Q2 earnings call, Musk said Tesla wasn't going to be open loop on its dojo expenditure, but the sum involved would certainly be north of a billion through the end of next year. We can easily calculate the average cost of around $10,000 per unit. So now we can take 100 exaflops, which are 300,000 A100s multiplied by 10 grand and you get the $3 billion. That's what Tesla's creating with Dojo, a $3 billion supercomputer, and that's just where Dojo will be next October. Musk, he's been talking, you know, saying that they make dependable self-driving system is a real tough nut to crack. He mentioned how teaching those smart computer models takes heaps of data, the more the merrier, and that's where Tesla's got the upper hand, thanks to all that info from his vehicles. They got more from those vehicles out there gathering data than all the other companies put together. Maybe even 10 times more, he figures. Now that dojo thing they got, Musk says it's made to slash the cost of training these brainy networks, and it's tweaked just right for what Tesla needs. Video smarts. They're thinking they'll have their own super duper computer doing this neural net learning, hitting some 100 exaflops, whatever that means, by next year. And hold on to your hats. Tesla's planning to let other car markers use their fancy full self-driving stuff. Musk has got a hunch that with all this learning and a super efficient brain in the car, Tesla's self-driving will soon be as good as humans. Heck, maybe even better down the road. How is Dojo structured? Analyzing the intricate architecture of Tesla's Dojo supercomputer reveals a specialized design tailored for advanced AI training tasks. The structure incorporates groundbreaking features that distinguish it from conventional supercomputers and AI hardware solutions. At the heart of Dojo, architecture is distributed with its computing design, akin to other advanced AI systems like Cerberus. This emphasizes scalability, bandwidth, and low latency, crucial for managing larger and more intricate neural networks. Noteworthy is the mess configuration, where individual units are interconnected through a high-speed fabric, enabling seamless communication between functional units within a single clock cycle. Each unit boasts a significant one and a quarter megabytes of SRAM scratch pad, along with multiple superscalar CPU cores featuring SIMD capabilities and matrix multiplication units. This diversity includes a novel type of CFPA, or configurable floating point eight. Impressively, the Dojo Chimp comprises 354 functional units, collectively delivering remarkable capabilities. These include 362 T-flops of BF16 or CFP8, 22.6 T-flops of FP32, and a striking effective transistor density of 77.5 million transistors per square millimeter. This compact yet potent design significantly contributes to the supercomputer's overall performance prowess. Moreover, Tesla introduces the system leveraging an integrated fan-out system on wafer info SLW packaging technique, enhancing cooling and power efficiency. This packaging methodology, combined with the distributed computer architecture, empowers Dojo to adeptly handle the considerable power densities associated with its intensive computational demands. Significantly, the Dojo architecture extends beyond chip design. Interconnected nodes within the supercomputer form a 2D mesh further enhancing communication efficiency. This underscores Tesla's innovative approach, prioritizing performance, scalability, and power efficiency for AI training tasks. Tesla's Dojo supercomputer stands as a testament to innovative and purpose-driven architecture. Dojo represents a substantial leap forward in the realm of AI training tasks, contributing to the advancement of artificial intelligence. So how's Dojo different from those other brands? 
What truly sets Dojo apart in the realm of AI training is its departure from traditional GPU hardware. Dojo operates at its core as a system on a chip, akin to having an entire computer condensed onto a single piece of silicon. This design approach resembles what Apple's done with their M1 chips. The brilliance here lies in its efficiency. Instead of dealing with numerous ports, wires, and separate components, all the essential parts are integrated into this compact silicon piece. When more power is needed, you can expand the silicon and add more processing cores, similar to Apple's various M1 chip versions. To sum it up, the Dojo chip's roughly the size of your hand, notably smaller than NVIDIA's A100 GPU. Yet Dojo isn't meant to just stand alone. Its true strength emerges at the tile level. Visual multiple chips coming together to function as a single cohesive system, similar to Apple's combo of the two M1 Max chips for added power in their new Mac Studio units. Tesla takes this concept even further by uniting 25 Dojo chips to form a coherent computer system within a tile. Six tiles form one rack unit, and two of these racks can make up a single cabinet. The magic of this system-on-a-chip design lies in its exceptional efficiency, achieved with minimal power and cooling needs. So to put it simply, the fundamental process within your new MacBook or these high-powered Mac Studios resembles what's occurring within Dojo, albeit on a much larger scale. This innovative computing approach holds immense potential for advancing AI training capabilities. What does the Dojo appearance signify for Tesla? Well, the first thing to note is that Tesla can quickly boost its AI training by adding more computing power to its program. This doesn't cost them too much once they have more of the Dojo chips and tiles. Unlike others, Tesla won't have to compete for the same chips, which are in high demand for AI. These chips can be hard to get and expensive. Tesla's new Dojo chips, like the H100 from NVIDIA, can be quite pricey right now, around 40 grand each. Elon mentioned that his initial Dojo version suits Tesla's needs for tasks like recognizing things from videos, which is vital for self-driving cars and that robot they're planning. However, he also said that future Dojo versions will be more versatile for other types of AI. Once Tesla's own Dojo system is strong enough for their tasks, any extra systems they build can make them money. Tesla could rent out this computing power, kind of like how Amazon or Microsoft rent out cloud services. There will be a huge demand for this kind of service in the future. This strategic move could potentially become a highly profitable venture for Tesla, given the projected high demand for such services in the future. So as Tesla's dojo becomes more powerful, it could not only serve its own needs, but also become a valuable source of revenue by renting out computational capabilities to others. And that's it for today's episode. So tell us what you think about Dojo's influence on intelligence, adaptability, and the future of human-machine interaction. Don't forget to share your ideas in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave us a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And be sure to ring that bell so you can stay up to date on our channel. Once again, we thank you so much for watching and hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe. Bye.